Hey everybody, time for another Zumo Robotics tutorial. Uh, this one is going to deal with the built-in buzzer to the Zumo bot. Uh, we're going to start off similar to what we did the last time uh, where we're going to define a few things up here at the top and we also need to include the Zumo library. So uh, include Zumo 32U4.H gives us access to those commands that uh, are related to our Zumo bot. And we are using Zumo 32U4 button A, which we will refer to as button A in our program. Uh, we will be defining Zumo 32U4 LCD, which we will be defining as LCD. And Zumo 32U4 buzzer, which we will just be calling buzzer. Uh, for the void setup, actually, I should say for this program we're just going to put everything in the void setup so that it doesn't continue playing the same song over and over and over. It's not really a song, just kind of a demonstration of the of the audio. And so I have on here everything which will be in the void setup. And if I scroll down you'll see void loop is completely empty, but I left it there anyways. Just to show you. Alright. Um so we're clearing the LCD screen so that it clears the message from our last tutorial which was the uh, LED example or the LCD example and then we're going to change the text on this one to be buzzer example so LCD dot go to XY just like last time zero 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 is column and row zero so up starting in the top left hand corner of our LCD screen it's going to print the word buzzer alright and then in zero one so underneath that where it says buzzer it's going to print out the word example alright it's going to start uh, with column zero but be in row one and remember when we're talking about rows and columns with our LCD screen with the Zumo bot zero is the first spot which is why we have zero zero and zero one so that's kind of a quick reminder from last time. Uh, then we want to wait to run the program until after we push a button. All right, And we used that command last time as well. So button A dot wait for button empty parentheses. So it's not going to do anything until we push the A button on our Arduino robot. Uh, we have on here then two different ways where we can play tones on our robot. All right, the first one I have on here buzzer plays tone at a frequency of 50 hertz or 0.5 kilohertz for 1 second at full volume. And so down here we would command that by typing in buzzer, which we defined above, dot play frequency and then in parentheses we put those three criteria. All right, 500 is 50 hertz or 0.5 kilohertz. And uh, 1,000, just like when we did our uh, timing earlier, uh, 1,000 we know is one second. And then full volume on this is with the value of 12. All right. Uh, and then after that, we would say while buzzer dot is playing, empty parentheses, and that whole thing is included in its own parentheses with the semicolon. Uh, this allows nothing else to happen until after it has played that song otherwise you might uh, have multiple things going on at once that that we don't want in this demonstration all right uh, we have a lot of comments on here and you can pause this and look at those if you want I'll try to go through them quickly so you don't have to listen to me talk a lot and you can just get to the code but all these comments are for this one line of code all right uh, so this code down here is going to play a string of notes and we're using a different way on here. We're not going to use the play frequency. We're going to call them by the actual notes. So for those of you who are uh, more musically talented and you know you know the letters of the scale, you know sharps and flats and, and those type of things, this is going to be more geared towards you. Uh, the other parts are more just kind of values that you would have to search and look online. So uh, you really benefited if you have uh, some background where you're able to to uh, read music. Uh, so this down here is going to play all these notes. 
an exclamation mark, which we have at the beginning, inside quotation marks, mind you, uh, resets the octave, tempo, duration, um, the volume, there we go, and staccato to the default values. All right, so we have that on there to reset the values in case there was a previously stored program on there. T240 sets the tempo to 240 beats per minute. L8 sets note duration to eighth notes. All right. So down, okay, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, letters A through G represent the notes. A through G. Pretty simple. Uh, the greater than sign plays the next note one octave higher. The less than note plays the next note one octave lower. And uh, a plus or the pound sign is like your sharp. It raises the note one half step up. So, um, you know, you have A sharp. And then uh, we have on here the minus lowers the note one half step. Sometimes people will ask, how come a lowercase b since they have the pound sign up here, but a b is already uh, taken as it's a musical note. Uh, so those are our commands that we have on here. And then we would type Zumo 32U4 buzzer colon colon play. All right. And then in parentheses and quotation marks, we have right here an exclamation mark, which is resetting all the values to default. We have T240, so this would be playing at 240 beats per minute. And L8, which means each of these is going to be an eighth note at 240 beats per minute. Okay, and then down here we have letter A, G, A, F, A, E, A, D, A. Uh, these notes, you, they, you don't have to have the spaces in between them. Sometimes I like to when I'm working on different parts so I can keep my mind straight with some of them. But the spacing's kind of up to you. Uh, but you can play around with those. I just put notes in here, uh, and I try to have some examples of each one. So here we have a sharp but also here we have a sharp because we could use the plus or we could use uh, the pound sign. Um, we had, oh shoot, did I take out my minus in there? I did, so let me put a minus in. All right, and then we have our greater thans for octave higher. All right, and then it goes up again, or I could have that be an octave lower, however I want to do that. Um, all those notes are on there, all right? And then I'm going to take it back because I probably did have this is somewhat semblance of kind of a of a thing that could be a part of a song or something. And then uh, down here we have wait for buzzer to finish playing the notes. So while buzzer dot is playing and then there it is. So it's, it's going to uh, play that song, and then the program will be done. So this is going to run one time after we install this, all right? So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to upload the program, and then I'll uh, get the phone out and record the actual robot so you can see that happening. All right, our robot's plugged in here. We uploaded the program to it. As you can see on the on the LCD screen there it says buzzer example just like we did before and then I'm going to use this A button here to start the program. And there we have our demonstration. So again we were able to see how to uh, add audio sounds to our Arduino robot, our Zumo bot, in a variety of ways and uh, we're able to uh, code that out in different styles. So play around with that and see what kind of songs and creations you can come up with.